If practice makes perfect, I think to date I've painted 1,800 people. Then Kelly Meredith has spent the last 35 years of her life brushing against perfection. And the longer I paint faces, the more I notice you know, very little intricate details that I didn't know the day before. I say that every portrait teaches me a little bit more about the human face or something about the human face I actually didn't know yesterday. Um, really weird things like, you know, the ridge of your eyelid and, you know, how that all works together. And so every day I pick up a little detail or a little piece of awareness. Um, and it's just through the sheer repetition. Kelly paints realistic historic murals lots of them. To date, she's painted close to 128 small town murals across Wisconsin. It's artwork that can take weeks or even months to complete. Once the piece is done and it's out the door, it's not mined anymore. It's now, it's the communities, it's the people who interact with it. I've always said, not that I don't have any kids, but I, I've always said it's kind of, must be what it's like to send your child off to college. You've done your work, hopefully you've done a good job. Now it's up to them. Now they have to go and have a life of their own. And I feel like the pieces themselves have a life of their own. Sometimes I don't even feel like I belong to them anymore, that they're, they've even been done by me. That feeling of separation helped Kelly complete her most challenging work, a nine-month installation at the Northern Great Lakes Visitor Center in Ashland, Wisconsin. I think it's 140 different species of animals, um, then like maybe 72 different bugs and insects. So every night I would go and read about that particular animal or that particular bug and make sure what does it eat, what eats it, what is the appropriate um, environment and what size because everything has to be perfectly the scale. I feel like I have a much better general anecdotal history of this area, simply because I've done so many historical murals. I feel like I have a sense of, you know, how we got here, what happened, what was the boom and bust economies along the way, how did they shape things, how did they shape the people, how did they shape the community. I have all that because I had to do all this research. Kelly's efforts haven't gone unnoticed, especially by the people her art really highlights. I have a two people that have passed away in my life. My brother, who was very young, he was 21. All my brothers and sisters said, yes, let's do that. They chipped in and had purchased the space for him. And then my son actually is on the mural. Just how appreciative all of us here at the center are that she was, um, all the work that she invested in the time away even from the center. She did so much research on this project and uh, she really got it right and she wanted to make sure she got it right too. She wanted to include every animal and plant that was in this area and tell the story of the Shawamini Bay. And for many, Kelly has gotten it right. With each stroke of the brush, she adds another detail that just wasn't quite there before. So much of this, of what I do, are people's relatives. You sponsoring somebody that you care about, um, whether it's a veteran or it's a waitress. And so oftentimes it's people who aren't famous, aren't well known. That's very emotional and it means a lot to people. And you know, people plan family reunions around these things. And um, so no, it's a big deal. So it's work that honors my life too, so. Work that Kelly hopes honors the lives that it's meant to illustrate the most. I hope that when you finally see your dad or your mom up there that you just have a sense of relief that you have this finally, you know, finally they got something. Finally they're not invisible. Finally they're real. Finally they have a story. Finally they exist. Um, I think that's the biggest thing so that people don't feel invisible like they, didn't, they never existed in the first place. And I think most people harbor that. I think that, that speaks to people. So, so yeah, relief. I hope you feel relief and closure. <laughs>